In this video we're going to be looking at some of the more important things to be done when uh, working on one of these Ampex 600 series transports. This is an Ampex 601 from the late 50s. I've put some marks on some of the drive components so that you can see the motion. It's a little hard sometimes uh, seeing what's moving and what isn't uh, with the video. These are uh, some of the more important aspects of the drive. This side, one of the functions of this side is to provide ho hold back tension for the supply reel. And w as such, it's really important that when this wheel is, sp is stopped, that it is that it stays stopped and that it doesn't slip. This is a little serrated metal wheel, spring loaded, that that breaks against the edge, this rubber edge. Now these discs have to be removed and the rubber has to be sanded to restore them to a usable condition. Um, these are easily removed. Just be careful not to lose the washers and springs on the back side. You can mount them up using the two zinc discs on either side of the wheel and you can mount that up onto a quarter inch drill bit and mount it in a drill and spin them and then use a sanding block with wet dry sandpaper to sand the edge until it is no longer shiny. The hardened old slippery rubber will be shiny and w once it's when it's sanded enough you'll be able to see that all the shiny spots are gone and there's a nice matte finish um, indicating that you have successfully removed all the heavily oxidized hardened uh, rubber from the surface and these two wheels you got to do both of these wheels don't do them on the deck if you do you're going to get uh, water and rubber dust and everything else all in this transport and everything. Just take them off of there. You can do them by hand. You can lay the wet dry paper down on the countertop, wet it, and then carefully hold the wheel in your hand. Try to keep it vertical so that you get a nice flat edge here and just roll that that disc on the sandpaper and, and clean that surface on the edges. Okay. Yeah, you can do the similar thing with the uh, pinch roller, but you can do it in place if you're careful and you uh, use a very controlled amount of water. There's more information about all this on other files on my website. Okay, like I said, it's critically important that this wheel not turn when it's in, in play mode. Uh, the friction between the plastic and this felt pad that's on the surface of this zinc disc that friction is what holds, provides tension for the tape against the capstan. The capstan's pulling the tape through, and this friction provides a constant uh, back pressure on the tape to keep it taut. And if that varies, it'll make the speed of the tape vary, and you get excessive wow. So uh, anyway, let me put this in in play here. took a second for it to lock there shouldn't be doing uh, it's because I was messing with the brake okay now you can see that the wheel is locked it's not slipping uh, there's a, a type of motion described as stick slip where it'll sit there for a little while and then it'll slip and then stick for a while then slip again and slip again if it's doing that it has to be fixed each time it slips like that you'll get a, a wow in the tape these machines have a really bad reputation for wow and flutter and some of it is deserved and some of it isn't in a lot of cases it's because either the play clutch is malfunctioning which we're going to talk about in just a minute or this hold back tension system is not working usually because this wheel is slipping against the brake you can use a an exacto knife to clean the grooves in this the serrations in this little metal brake wheel that that can help and if you do all this work 
and it's still slipping a little bit don't go in there and try to add spring tension or inc or try to increase the spring tension or any of that don't tamper with the mechanism if it's not working it's usually because something like the rubber is still a l too old and hard and there's a solution for that this is belt and drive non-slip it's a good product I've used it on this deck after you've cleaned this down to a mate finish if it still is slipping on here you can apply a coating of this it doesn't leave a tarry residue it's not sticky it dries clean it's a nice product it works well now we're gonna now I don't know if you were watching but you'll see that this is slipping when it starts this gives a nice gradual startup. The motor drive drives the the rubber wheel in this case, and then that's transferred to this shaft, which turns the 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 tape reel on the front. And when it first starts up, it it it's, it's a clutch, just like a clutch in a car. It lets it start nice and smooth and gradual, as you see can see there. which allows it to accelerate as it builds up speed as the longer you let it rewind. Okay, now for the play clutch. This is the play clutch. It's a, there's a plastic wheel with a felt pad and another one of these zinc discs. It's driven by this rubber belt on this idler pulley. When you put it in play this will come up and engage where the rubber then drives this plastic wheel. I've marked the wheel. Let me turn this. I've marked the wheel with with the sharpie and the and the plate so that you can see the relative motion between the two and you'll see that, where, that the slipping is occurring here between the plastic and the zinc plate. That's the way it's designed to work. On many if not most 601's out there the slipping will be occurring between the rubber belt and the plastic. This is not a good situation. It uh, wears out the rubber belt and can even burn all the way through the plastic and cut this drive wheel in half. I've seen it more than once. And that's because the slipping starts occurring between the plastic and this drive belt. If you follow the instructions in the manual you will almost certainly have this adjusted far too tightly. And uh, you can see that the belt is rubbing fairly close to the back edge here of this plastic disc. I have found through experience that that's a pretty good location that gives you really in, in the ballpark for a good amount of take up tension, which is all that this play clutch does. It controls how much tension is applied to the take up reel as it's sort of trying to pull the tape through the capstan and pinch roller. And you don't want very much tension there. You want to let the capstan do the work and this just takes up the slack as it's being delivered by the capstan and pinch roller. Okay, put it back in play, and as you can see, the plastic wheel is spinning like crazy, with the zinc plate spinning much more slowly, and the slipping is occurring, as it should, between the felt and the plastic w drive wheel. This is the proper functioning of the play clutch. You may notice that I've also replaced the motor run capacitor in this unit. I do that in most of these units that I've restored which I don't do anymore so don't even ask uh, I'm putting this information out there for DIYers and uh, anyway I've started using film caps for, for these instead of uh, electrolytics they'll last essentially forever and and perform better anyway okay I think that's just about everything
I haven't covered a lot of the uh, material covered in the manual. There's no point. The adjustments for the pulley, for the uh, for the main pulley, and the and the drive. This, this is the uh, sp spring-loaded tensioner for the uh, for the motor pulley. There's adjustments. There's a few adjustments back here and things. Um, normally, you can set this so that the end of the shaft is flush with the surface of this collar, and that gets you pretty close. This is an adjustment, and and if 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 the uh, rewind or fast forward isn't functioning properly, uh, like if it gets close to the end and comes to a stop, you can adjust the tensions and the amount of force being applied to the uh, rewind and fast forward functions by adjusting these plates. I have found just they almost always work fine when you just make the uh, shaft flush with the end of the of the plate there. We're going to call that good for now. See you next time.